October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, an annual campaign to raise awareness about the impact of breast cancer. I am Aidy, and as a woman living in Kauga, I thought it fitting to represent the Kauga women by visiting Bay Radiology to experience my first ever mammogram, and in the process, debunk some myths surrounding breast health and screening. Will you tell us how you experienced your first mammogram? I know when you made your appointment and when you arrived you were quite nervous and you had quite a couple of questions. Would you please describe your experience to us? Anytime. It was um, much better than I expected. It was actually quite fun. The lady that uh, did my examination was very helpful and she talked me through everything. The mammogram was not hardly as sore as I thought. It's just an awkward position. It's exactly like you told me beforehand. You stand in an awkward position. The sonar on the, on the other hand was the most funniest thing ever because I'm so ticklish and she had to put the sonar head under my, my uh, arm, armpits and that is a no-go zone for me so that was very funny but it was, a, it was a good experience. I can really, I will go home and tell all my friends about it because a lot of us have preconceived ideas of it being very very sore and it's definitely not as I thought. Yeah, it, I will definitely do it again. Um, I'm glad you had a nice experience because a lot of women postpone their annual mammogram examinations because of the perceived ideas that it will be dangerous for breast prostheses, that it will be sore and that basically they can get away with just an ultrasound, which is not the case because it is two completely different examinations that actually complement each other because sometimes we will see something on the ultrasound that we can't see on the mammogram and sometimes we see something on the mammogram we can't see on the ultrasound so we always combine it to get the best results possible. Okay, I wanted to ask if it's always the both the procedures that you get if you book a mammogram. We, in 99% of the cases, do it. The only time we won't do it is if the patient is for follow-up and they've got nice fatty breasts where we are 100% sure there is nothing and there is absolutely no change since the previous examination. Then we won't do it. But when it's your first visit, you will get it. And when you've got denser breasts, you will always have it. Doctor, I've heard, um, and that's maybe the reason why I'm age 47 and I today went for my first mammogram. I'm glad I did it and I feel a little bit ashamed that I waited so long. So there's a lot of myths in, around women that going for a mammogram can actually activate cancer, what would you say to something like that? Look, mammography basically uses radiation and radiation per se can cause cancer. Okay. But with the mammogram that we're doing in the new machines we're having, we use the lowest dose possible and you will not get it from just your routine mammograms. That's why the younger you are, the more we tend to just hedge towards ultrasound first because your breasts are denser in the younger people and because we don't want to radiate you. But when, again, you've got to look at what is your risk of getting breast cancer. If you're a young person with a very bad family history that had previous radiation due to cancer, you have a very good chance of getting breast cancer, especially if they did chest radiation. So now you have to weigh up your options, but a mammogram per se, done as we do it, will not cause breast cancer. I think the myth originated originally because the people, they don't feel anything, they don't feel sick, they don't feel a lump, nothing. They've got no risk factors. Then they arrive at our place 
and they walk out with the diagnosis of possible breast cancer because that is ultimately what we wish to achieve with a mammogram. We want to diagnose breast cancer as early as possible to give you the best chance of disease-free survival. And the best thing is still a mammogram, whether we like it or not, because your earliest cancers are often just micro little calcifications, and that's the thing we can't see on the sonar. And that is what we pick up at stage one. And then the patient said, but look, I had nothing, and now I've got breast cancer. Yeah, I hear what you say. But yeah. the point is you're actually lucky. <laughs> yeah, you, it's, it's like looking through, uh, through glasses. It's the, if you cannot see it, it is still there. If you put the glasses on, it's not the glasses' fault that it's there. You exactly. can see it now. Yeah. You know, and, and, and that's another thing, basically, with our routine mammograms, we pick up per month, just in our practice in Port Elizabeth, um, approximately 15 to 20 new patients per month just on mammogram. It's patients that come for routine examinations that we pick up. And on that topic, COVID created a huge problem for us because we were not allowed to do any routine examinations during the lockdowns four and five. And for that reason, we decided to move one of our mammogram machines out of the hospital setups and um, into our cancer units because our cancer patients needed follow up. And what happens to that 15 to 20 patients that we didn't pick up? And unfortunately, not everybody came for the examinations and yeah, and regretfully, we now find them with palpable lumps and much more advanced disease. We are actually picking up substantially more breast cancer at this moment just because people didn't come when they were supposed My to word, come. My word, that is just terrible. And why every year? You and know that every year. Yeah, well, yes and no. If you have no family history, no high risk um, factors like previous radiation or certain diseases, um, we do it every two years till you are about 50, 55, and then we start to do it annually because, again, there's the myth that only older women get breast cancer, which is not the case. We get young girls, unfortunately, their cancers are more aggressive than the older women. And then we also, there's also the myth that you have not mentioned that it is more white women that will, white old women like me that will get breast cancer. You're not old. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you my age though. <laughs> You're not old. But I for the life of me can't understand why there would be a discrepancy between races. The old history was always that the black women don't get breast cancer because they had their babies earlier and they breastfed for uh, long periods of time, but it isn't the case. Why would breast cancer care about that? You are a woman, you've got estrogen, you've got progesterone, so you have a risk. Wow. And now we see with the black ladies that's now more alert of it, they also come and thankfully we pick their cancers up also at a much younger age. Doctor, if you can give a, a general global message for the ladies in our region as to why come for this mammogram exam. My motivation would be that I believe that we as women don't look out for ourselves, we don't look after our health, we first take care of our families and if there's a need for money, you know, you will not colour your hair, you won't do things to enable your children to have it. But in the end, I see the mother as the cornerstone of a family. She's the person that keeps the family unit together. and. Anybody who's been involved in 
people with cancer treatment will realize the tremendous impact it has on the family. And when you lose your mother out of a situation like that, it is even more devastating. So to me, it is of the utmost importance. One in eight of us in a lifetime will get breast cancer. That we look after ourselves and indirectly or directly, we also look after our families. Come for your mammogram. You can come biannually because most of the medical aids are paying for every two years. And if you feel a lump, for God's sake, please, phone us, make an appointment. If they can't help you quick enough, then you say, please, I've got a lump. Just say lump and we will make an emergency slot for you because ultimately the earlier we can detect the cancer, the better your chance of a survival and seeing your children growing up.